No one ever wants to see their children or their parents go hungry, let alone themselves, but it is becoming a more serious problem since SNAP benefits went down last month. Yeah, WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell was at a protest right in front of City Hall tonight where people say they just need a little help getting something to eat. That's right, Kelly and Jamie. These groups came together at the end of last year to rally for an end to the food deserts in Baltimore City. Now, with the recent end of additional staff benefits, they say this has become an emergency to bring them back. Got money for war, can't feed the poor. Got money for war, can't feed the poor. People marched in solidarity in front of City Hall to fight for food access. But why did the food stamps have to get cut down? What is that about? Give us SNAP benefits today. On March 1st, the pandemic era boost SNAP benefits ended. That dropped the average benefit by a little over $80 a month. Jeanette Snowden lives in Sandtown, Winchester, one of the food deserts in Baltimore. We stand up and fight. She, like many others, is one who had her food stamps cut. She says she now relies on food distribution programs to get the necessary healthy food. I'm a person that have deterior, deteriorated cartilage in my joints. So food is important for me, proper food, um, to try to arrest some of the deterioration. Others fighting for the restoration of expanded food stamps say this cut also has a big impact on the children. The kids don't get breakfast in the morning from school they may not get breakfast at all because the mother's food stamps have been cut so significantly that they have to decide whether or not they're going to pay for clothes and pay for food. People are going without food or eating, um, you know, what do you call it, from the dollar store, oodles of noodles. The nutrition level of young people and elderly people is falling because of this crisis. Sharon Black is with the People's Power Assembly and Food is Right campaign. She says the additional staff benefits were given for COVID emergency. Now, she is asking for government officials to alleviate the crisis of inflation by restoring the aid. Well, we think the crisis is even bigger now with inflation. And so we still need an extra allotment of food stamps to cover the crisis that people are feeling in the communities in Baltimore. Sharon Black tells me they are looking to get a thousand signatures on a petition to the city, state, county and federal government with demands of restoring SNAP benefits, rolling back prices and ending food deserts.